everyone, Amy Kennedy here, ceramic artist from Melbourne, Australia. Today I have three easy ways to pack more of a punch in your artist CV. And you might be thinking, oh gosh, that sounds so boring. It is not boring. It is actually one of my most favorite things to do with the artists that I'm working with is to get out my red pen, as many of them would know, and be a real detective to see what can I find in here that can be improved or what is actually not here that should be here. I really love it, even though that might be a little bit sad, but I really love it. Um, so even before I jump into the three easy ways, for this video tip, I am describing a CV as a factual list of an artist's achievements and experiences segmented into different categories. My number one easy way to pack more of a punch in your artist's CV is to tailor it for different purposes. We can often get into the habit of having one CV and using it for everything, but it can be smart to look at where that CV is going and make some adjustments. For instance, if I am applying for an artist residency, I want my previous artist residency experience or similar experiences prominent on the page of that CV so they can see that I have a track record and have undertaken something like this before. If I am pitching a, an article to a publication to write an article, I want to have my writing experience prominent on the page, articles I might have written or even a blog. So you get the idea. It's really about being smart thinking, where is this CV going? Who is going to be reading this CV? What information is important to them so I can make it more obvious so that it puts me in a better light for that opportunity? My second easy way to pack more of a punch in your artist's CV is to make sure you're not losing information or you're forgetting to put information on it. So life can get busy and a CV is not usually our top priority in life. A month or a few years can go by and we can miss putting on many uh, exhibitions or events. We can miss putting that information on the CV and it can very, be very tedious and time consuming to have to go through all your files to find that information. So an easy way to locate it is to look back through your social media because it is common that we celebrate exhibitions or awards. We will share posts about commissions, collaborations, uh, if we're doing a special workshop, if we've been invited to do a lecture, a lot of that will be on our social media. So have a look back through it. If you're not a big poster of this sort of stuff on social media, look back through your diaries and your calendars because you will often put deadlines or other information on there that can be useful in popping into your CV. My third easy way to pack more of a punch in your artist CV is to really make sure the layout is spot on. I did a video on this last year where I, I said that I think uh, the layout of a CV is as important as the content because if the layout, if the information is all messy and jumbled, it's really hard to even get to that information. And this doesn't have to be fancy. It's all about alignment on the page. It's all about consistency in terms of fonts and spacing and white space, making sure there's a balance of white space on the page. I have seen many, many experienced artists, artists CVs and I know that they have had a huge um, level of achievement and accomplishment and contribution to their field, but their CV is messy and it's a real disservice. So put in the time to set up your layout and once it's done, it's done and then you just add information as things happen. As I'm speaking these things, I want to make it clear that I don't think a CV is the be all and the end all of an artist. It does not really define them. It's just one element within their professional practice toolbox. But if you can improve your CV um, alongside all the other elements, it can potentially open more doors for you. And it doesn't matter if your CV is a quarter of a page or if your CV is five pages. If you can tailor it for the purpose and be smart about it, if you can make sure you're consistently collecting all the information, and if you can make sure your layout is really spot on and very easy to read, I think there'll be huge moves forward to improve your CV. So thank you for listening all the way to the end. And if you would like to find out more about the programs I run and how I work with artists one-on-one, -on -one, you can check out my website. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.